Hey guys, it's Casey. I am back and I know it has been quite a while. I wanted to go ahead and jump back on here because it is my one year anniversary of being a snake owner. <laughs> Technically, I got Rapunzel here on April 5th and I know I'm barely making a video now and that's just because... <laughs> Within this year, I have learned a couple of things about being a snake keeper. Within my bubble of friends and family, I kind of figured out who loves snakes, who's open-minded about snakes, who claims to be okay with them, but I know really isn't. And I figured out the people that pretty much want nothing to do with them. But why though? You're so cute. I experience what it's like to be bitten by a snake. I experience what it's like to be pooped and peed on by a snake. Talking to you, Tangelo. I learned that snakes are professional escape artists. Isn't that true? I learned that you don't need to spend a lot of money on a hide. I made that mistake when I first started. I still have this really expensive hide. It's 30 bucks, man. 30 bucks. Um, Zoe is using it right now and he's outgrowing it. And then what? I mean, I could have him use it for a little bit, but yeah. Don't spend money on expensive hides. Use a freaking tissue box. Tissue boxes work too. Never again. Never again. The reptile community. I learned how big it is and also how small it is compared to, you know, everything else. I learned how mean and vicious some snake keepers can be. I get my fair share of sour people in the comment section. But hey, YouTube life, right? Subscribe. At the same time, I also see how supportive and positive some people are. And that's what makes it all the more exciting to raise snakes. Got some lipstick on you. I'm sorry. Oh, I got some lipstick on my chin. It's these people in the community that make me want to be better to raise these guys. So yeah, those are the things that I learned over the course of the year as a new snake owner. Of course, I'll never stop learning. There's always new information out there and I'm always open to adjusting in order to make my snakes happy. Aside from that, I wanted to thank you guys for tuning into my videos, engaging in conversations, liking, subscribing. If you've seen some of my first videos here on YouTube, you'd see that there was no real direction with the types of videos that I made. But once I started posting videos about my snakes, that's when things started to pick up. So I thank you guys for paving a path for you and I to be a part of. Oh, actually one more thing. I did start an Instagram page for my snakes and I did become that kind of snake mom. I don't have anything posted up just yet, but go ahead and give it a follow so that you can be updated when I do. Okay, well that's it for me. I have other videos in the works. I'm just figuring out my whole lighting situation because this whole setup is brand new and I'm still working out the kinks, so that's my whole situation right now. But yeah, new things. New things coming up. Just be on a lookout and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.